Giving your cat ample attention is right there on the list of vital priorities with respect to feline ownership. When the name of the game is meeting your cat's essential needs while attempting to build that bond of trust and obedience, being able to give your cat meaningful and positive attention, well, not much can truly be accomplished without it. In this material, I'll talk about a host of negatives that could arise if you don't give your cat the attention they need and deserve. Stay tuned. That old expression, you let the cat out of the bag, well let me tell you, if you constantly ignore your cat, your pet will be tearing right through the bag, tearing up your sofa, your carpet, it can get ugly, not to mention hitting you where it really hurts, your wallet. And while some cats are obviously a bit more aggressive than others, it's quite common for cats that are being neglected to take their frustrations out on pretty much anything they can manipulate. If your cat is going a bit bonkers, tearing stuff up and knocking things over, it's certainly possible that your cat is in very much need of your attention. Another negative that could happen if your cat is not getting enough me time, let's say, is a change in vocalization. If you've noticed that your cat is meowing more frequently and the meows are louder and with a bit more gusto, let's say, this could be done as a way to at least attempt to get your attention. Notice me. And on the flip side, some cats will go silent when they're not getting positive attention. You won't acknowledge me, so I won't acknowledge you. If you've noticed that the way your cat is addressing you has changed, they could be a bit upset and frustrated with your lack of engagement. When some cats find themselves on the wrong end of attention, they'll take a rather loving approach in an attempt to perhaps win you over, rubbing against your legs, perhaps a gentle touch of your arm with a paw. Of course, the objective here is clear. I'll give you some attention and perhaps I'll get a bit of your time in return. And while this isn't some grand negative, at least from your point of view or our point of view, this is essentially a plea from your cat. Keep in mind that not every ramification due to a lack of attention will result in damaged furniture. Some negatives, well, they'll just result in a damaged relationship. And if your goal is to have a close bond with your pet, the road to that success can get quite difficult if your cat begins to view you as a distant stranger who is unresponsive to their attempts at affection. Another common side effect of failing to give your cat positive attention is the desire of said cat to get up in your business, all up in your business, quite literally in some cases. Has your cat ever crashed your party? You're home, perhaps in your office space, and the next thing you know, your cat is standing on your laptop and has made a bed with some of your paperwork running interference. If I stop what you're doing, then you'll have no choice but to pay attention to me. Yeah, this is bad news. You don't want things to reach this level. And while some cats can just be silly and curious and jump up on your stuff, if your cat does this time and time again, it would be wise to just take a break in the action and, at the very least, have a petting session with your cat. Another potential negative involves your cat playing the role of your shadow. I just spoke of interruptions, but what about your inability to navigate through your very own home without your cat just being right there? Some cats that lack in the attention department will either wait for you outside of a closed door, the bathroom, the bedroom, any closed door, or they'll simply follow you around. This is another way that cats many times request for attention, or in this case, sort of like the interruption tactic, bully for attention. And what about this one? Keeping you up at night. I've mentioned this in various videos with respect to similar topics, but cats that lack positive stimulation, both mental and physical, during your waking hours can make your sleep hours a rather un pleasant experience to say the very least. If your cat is constantly moving about the house, meowing and crying aloud, this could be the result of a day unfulfilled. Of course, the end result here is a frustrated cat and you quite tired and exhausted the following day due to a lack of sleep. Cats that lack attention can also display improper bathroom behaviors, intentional chaos, let's call it, kicking out more litter than usual, failure to cover waste, and the worst of all, choosing to use the restroom somewhere else entirely. With respect to this topic, bathroom chaos of this nature is just another extension of the existing frustration and anxiety caused by lack of positive attention. As I've said so many times in prior videos, the foundation, at least with respect to what your cat desires, is comfort and security. And it really all starts with you. If your cat feels uneasy and feels like they're on the outside looking in, 
One of the negatives could involve restroom troubles. And just like a hand in a glove, I've also mentioned this one quite often, anxious and aggressive and aggravated cats can also take up some very aggressive grooming habits. Not only frequent grooming, but somewhat dangerous grooming. Fear grooming, you could say. The pulling out and total removal of large chunks of fur. This can not only create a rather unkept appearance, but your cat could endure self-inflicted skin damage. This is just a bad situation all around, not to mention excess loose fur could potentially lead to a choking hazard. Lack of attention could cause aggressive grooming. And similar to unwanted bathroom behaviors, lack of attention can also potentially lead to changes in your cat's appetite and overeating habits. Or eating habits, excuse me. Some cats begin to eat too much. Food becomes a form of recreation. Eating simply because it's something to do. On the flip side, some cats choose to refuse meals and begin to become dismissive of anything that is offered up. And finally, the last negative that I'll speak about here today is laziness. Your cat has resigned itself to the current status, an acceptance of lack of attention, lack of enrichment. This is the sign and the time where your cat becomes a fixture in your home and is essentially, well, just another object in your home, your cat and your coffee table. Same thing. This is a huge problem, and I'm afraid it's more common than we all think. Are you a cat owner, or do you just have a cat in your house? There is a difference. If your cat is simply existing under your roof, things can turn sour in a hurry. And before I wrap this up, let me be clear about the angle I'm coming from with respect to this topic. What happens if you don't give your cat attention? I'm being literal. I'm not really speaking about a situation where your cat is getting everything they want and need, yet still wants your attention and gets upset when they don't get it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about next to nothing at all. No attention. Uh, uh, essentials, food and water and shelter needs, they're being met, but there's nothing else. No attention is truly being given. No one-on-one -on -one time. No bonding time. This topic will not apply to most cat owners. At least I hope it doesn't. I just wanted to make that crystal clear. I'm not really talking about a not enough attention. This is bordering on no attention at all. And I also want to say, as I often do, many of the issues that I noted here today while signs of a lack of attention could be signs of other concerns, mainly health concerns. If you're unsure of your cat's behavior and what it really means, a vet visit. The routine visit. So important. I stress it often. Please make it happen. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your thoughts on this topic? Anything that you'd like to add to the conversation? Your voice. Let it be heard down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this content and found it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and as always, I will talk to you later.